I'm gonna fix myself a drink. What can I get you? Get out of here. Hey, come on, it's early. Yet. I said get out of here. Suit yourself. You know, this isn't the only place in town I can get a drink. client involved in this thing, huh? I'm telling you, it's all right. Would you just... Hey, Gully, I got a call from the Lockridge's. Let them in. Thanks. What's happened here? Looks like Wallace found something waiting for him when he got home. I think we'd better have a talk with our friend. Huh? Holy, the, the way it looks to me, uh, whatever it was, tried to drag the body away when, when it was interrupted. Well, you, you know what that stuff wrapped all around the body was, don't you? Save your breath. I'm a believer. What are you going to do about it, Gully? What am I supposed to do about it? Well, I think you tell the people. At least let them know what's going on out there. Hey, that's a great idea. Really, that's a great idea. Why don't I hold a why don't I hold a press conference and tell them there's a big spider out there killing people? And then I'll issue all my men giant cans of raid and send them out after it. You know what they'll do to me? They'll put me away someplace. They'll put me on weaving so I don't hurt anybody. No, he'd be the lid stays on this one. Now, if I hear one word on the street about any giant spiders. I'll know where to come. All right, all right. But at least maybe now you'll get off Lee Lockridge's case. Get off Lee Lockridge's case? Inside of one week, two fiancés of Lockridge sisters had their chests ripped out. Forget about Carlo. I don't even know where he fits in. And throw out that poor sap of a husband who maybe fell off the boat. No, Higby, even admitting that I don't know what the connection with the spider is, I'm not going to get off Lee Lockridge's case. In fact, I'm adding a sister to it. The, uh, Mark. Huh? What? There's, uh, there's something else you gotta know. What else could there be? Well, uh, this is a Wallace. It was a gun nut. Uh, it was a crack shot. We took, uh, six bullets out of the wall in there. So? Well, there were six big fat slugs from a 44 Magnum. They had to be fired at point blank range. Mm -hmm. Well, there wasn't a trace of blood or flesh or bone on any of them. about the Lockridge girls is all those terrible tragedies in their lives. Did I show you the red hourglass on the stomach? Higby, if you don't get rid of that thing, I'm taking a walk. Do you understand? I can. It cost me 12 bucks. See? That's how you can tell it's a girl. See that? And look at that. Look at that. Eight eyes. A black widow has eight eyes. Yuck. Ugly. Here. Now listen to this. Here. Hold it. Oh, hold it. Just take it. Just take it and put it down over there. That's it. Now, some Northern California Indians believed it was a curse of some kind transmitted down through the female line. It may lie dormant for years until triggered by a certain kind of spider venom. Once bitten by the spider, the woman, periodically, but only during the cycle of the full moon, 
makes the transformation into an incredibly large spider. Higby, I'll, I'll humor you up to a point, but I, I just can't swallow that, you know? At least it explains Valerie Steffen. Higby, you want to hear what I got on the Lockridges? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, let me hear the tragedies. All right, it all started when the girls were born, actually before. The father was Paul Lockridge, financier and flying freak. He was killed when his plane crashed in the Sierras in 1947. The mother was aboard, but survived. She was pregnant at the time, gave birth to the girls alone in the mountains. It was two days before they were found by an Indian guide. Wow. Anything else? Uh, nothing until 1965. Mrs. Lockridge decided to live in Italy, and she died in Rome. Wow. The details are a little foggy about that. Foggy? What do you mean, foggy? Well, uh, no cause of death was indicated, and there was a closed casket service. I wonder why. I don't know. You know everything else that's happened since then. But uh, nothing, nothing to link either girl to any of the earlier murders. And there was nothing to tie them to the uh, spider thing either? No, darling. There's nothing to tie them to the spider thing either. Mwah! <laughs> Wait a minute. What? What are you looking for? Mm. Look, Higby, I don't really buy your cockamamie Indian maiden legend, right? But if you're looking for a connection, try this. Doctor said it was almost a miracle that Mrs. Lockridge's infant daughter survived their ordeal. Not only did they suffer from exposure, but hospital sources said one of the babies was so severely bitten by insects that she remained comatose for almost a week. Doesn't say. What kind of insects? Doesn't say that either. Does it say where that plane crashed? Uh, near a place called Cato Ridge. Cato Ridge, Cato Ridge. Uh, it's up above Sacramento, I think. So when are you leaving? Now. I'm afraid the records you need were lost when the old wing burned in 58, Mr. Higby. The paper said something about an Indian who found the plane crash. Well, that was before my time. But I know the Lockridges owned some vineyards and a winery out on Bald Knob Road. Do you happen to know if the vineyards are still there? Well, they're abandoned now. But I hear there's an old Indian who used to work for them who still lives on the place. Much obliged to you, Mr. Summers. I'd be careful if I were going out there, Mr. Higby. Really? Why is that? Well, the old fellow's been known to take a pot shot or two at hunters or fishermen who try to use the place. Hmm, I see. Well, I'll be very careful. Thank you very much.
Anybody there? Listen, if anybody's around, all I want to do is talk. Hello? Fell the, the spiders. I sent these 